Hello everyone, this is Jeremy and welcome to a new series today. We are getting started on Multi-Block Madness. We are back on Minecraft 1.12 because having just played Seopolis on 1.16, I've come to the conclusion that the mods of that version still are not ready yet. It's just why play with half-finished mods, half-finished mod pack. Now the mod pack being half-finished, you know, I, I knew that going in. It was clearly labeled a beta, but the mods themselves felt very half-baked and not done. So anyways, rewinding back in time, we are back on Minecraft 112 playing Multi-Block Madness. This is a pack all about multi-blocks, um, including our dear friend Tech Reborn. But whatever, uh, we'll get into the juicy details of the pack later. For now, let's create a world and dive in um seed can be multi-plots sure why not and then because i'm a cheater we turn sheets on i think you can play on any uh world type in this pack so we're just gonna do the default do we want to do default i mean i don't really do anything in the world right default it is um all right let's go there's no real gimmicks to this world here it's just a Standard Minecraft world, you know, it's not a C block, not a void world, etc. Uh, if it'll load today. And we spawned underwater. Well, that's new. Um, but let's get on land here. We see astral sorcery stuff. Uh, visited a forest. That looks like, I don't know, bomb crafts in the pack. All right. Anyways, we start ourselves with a quest book. So we have our excavator. Woohoo. And some armor. All right, um, let's give this an Akashic Tones. Home, sign me up. And tells me about JEI, good. We get a pizza to start off though. I mean, if you were born with a pizza, you'd be happier too. All right, so the very start of the game is like many other mod packs. Well, just like Minecraft in general, punch some wood, but punch some wood with Vein Miner. Huzzah, uh, is it? The one probe? Yeah. I want Wayla style, thank you. In the middle. Aha. Alright, so anyways, I'm gonna punch some wood, uh, and maybe find a place to settle down. I'm pretty sure right off the bat, this quest rewards us with a house. I mean you can get a sleeping bag or a house. Like I feel like the two aren't quite the same. So I'm gonna pick the house and we're gonna have to find a place to put it. So let's look around a bit. You know me, I love myself some plains, but this is a forest. This clearing up ahead looks like a good place to set up home. We're right next to a Thumbcraft magical forest, which is nice. There's a roofed forest or whatever, dark oak forest. There's water and flat land. Perfect. And uh, in ore. So anyways, let's set up our home. I think we get this capsule home. This is, this is worthless. Uh, well, it's not that small. Here, let's place it, see what it looks like. I mean, this is like a very starter home, right? There's a, is there a door. Oh, there is a door. You look at that. Punch me. I mean, you asked for it. What's in the chest? Oh, we got some food. All right, but anyways, that's this is this is a boring home. I mean. This is like smaller than my apartment in San Francisco. So anyways, let's uh, get out of here and set up our real home. The starter house from Prefab. So I think it's just... How do you do it? You... There we go. Right clicking on the ground, pick a few styles. Um, ranch home? Hobbit? No, no, let's just go with a basic one. Uh, yes, I want a crafting table. I want a flat ceiling. I want a flat ceiling. Flat ceilings are easier to expand on. And make it out of bricks and bricks. Oak wood and as large as you get. Oh, I should have previewed it first, but all right, here's our home now, I guess. It's, uh, Probably not sufficiently lit up in the inside, but whatever. Um, we have walls. This is new. The game also starts us off with a waystone, so let's just place it, I guess, out front of our house. Call it home. 
and then we can link our starting return scrolls to here and then we can teleport to there at any time um i don't know i assume we get this instead of the set home command no we get set home as well okay well i guess we got multiple ways to teleport home anyways back to the quest then we need my first goal is to make a smeltery so that requires uh the usual smeltery bits clay sand and gravel hopefully there's a little bit of clay in our lake clay that looks like clay to me the water looks very blue um i guess it's fine gravel and some sand the grout recipe is a little different in this pack it's made from ender isles universal binder which i think is normally used to make the conduit binder but it does a lot of other things in here so um this effectively makes grout a lot cheaper per unit of grout is uh well no maybe not it's about the same as today it just needs an extra grains of infinity anyways grains of infinity require lighting fire on bedrock so i need to get a flint and steel that requires some iron thankfully our base comes with a built-in mine shaft down here but i've noticed resources are slightly different in this pack they're uh first of all let's complete the quest there's a bunch of different mining levels up to, I mean, I guess it's similar to regular mining levels, similar-ish, at least up to a point. But anyways, um, there's also large veins. So my goal is to find an iron vein, which spawn anywhere between my level 60 and 10. Uh, I think, let me take a look at these divining rods. I think each divining rod looks for specifically the resource it's bound to. What was that one? Vanilla. I guess that's all vanilla resources. So it's not that a higher tier one is just better than the other. Um, also not a very big range. But anyway, so it's just for now because I want iron, grab the iron one. Even though something like emerald is obviously more valuable. Put this in offhand and... I notice we have this like... Our mine shaft hasn't generated. It generated through this quartz vein. Oh, there's some iron there. But that all looks like vanilla iron right i'm looking for one of the mega veins vein me up bro doesn't look like we found them. oh no those still just look vanilla e in density maybe not let's head in that direction and find out uh i guess these are the resources that our tunnel went through on the way down all right let's see what that all is no that's definitely a vein all right vein miner do your thing oh wow can't mine yet can't mine this yet cool well uh yeah here's our iron i guess as much as i can try to get to it there's probably more trouble than it's worth but we can make a quartz grindstone to double our iron right off the bat so i think that needs a is that the recipe is this the recipe there we go a crank to go with it There we go. Put the crank into the grindstone, put the ore in, and then crank it to double the ore. Uh, given how big a vein there probably is down there, and the fact that there's probably more veins if needed, this is almost assuredly not worth it. But I mean, yeah, we can double all of our ores from the get-go, it's that fancy. As for tools, we can get started using the Tinker's Construct tools. So, make the entire set of Tinker's Construct tables. Um, the exact patterns elude me at the moment. Let's see. So stencil table, part builder. We need a pattern. All right, let's start from the beginning. Stencil table makes your patterns. Put them into the pattern chest. Part builder makes your parts. And then you need a tool station. There we go. And last, optionally, a tool chest. But I don't recall the tool chest recipe. Tool chest. All right, there was no way I was going to remember that one off the top of my head. Um, oh, apparently that was a quest. No, yeah, that was a quest. So it wants a whole set of Tinker's tools. If the reward doesn't... The reward's useless, I'm going to skip it. All right, so uh, let's put it up against this wall here. See, I'm so organized. Right next to the bed. Pencil, pattern, part builder, tool station, part chest. Yes. I guess technically we swap the tool station in the part chest. And just for completeness sake, 
a crafting station so we can access it all in one go. All right. So anyways, um, I guess once we complete that, I want a pickaxe of some sort that doesn't totally suck. So this, that, and pickaxe head. Although I can't actually melt iron yet, can I? Apparently, there's just a quest tab that has every ingot on it, and then when you get an ingot, it rewards you with an extra one, you know? Buy one, get one free, I guess. Um, this seems like the type of quest you make so that you can put in your Curse, for page, Curse Forge page that your quest, ha you know, that your pack has, you know, over 800 quests. Thanks. I cared 200 of those 800, I guess. Anyways, um, I don't know. I'll take my free iron ingot, I guess. And what have we gotten in here? Great with saplings. All right. Uh, no, that's just an update. I've never actually used a wizardry quest or a uh, wizardry mod, except for like generating some of their resources or um, generating some of their resources as crafting ingredients in other uh, in other packs. But whatever. Um, Back to our first tools here, then. I think I'm going to make my first pickaxe out of flint, just because that's what I got. Once we have a smelter, we can make something better. So, uh, flint pickaxe head. What's the flint binding? Dude, no thanks. Can't do that. Oh, we can do that. Wait. That's what could you do iron in a... All right, we're making our pickaxe out of iron. I don't know you could do that. Um, I think now my useless slit one goes in the part chest where it lives forever. All right, well now we have a slightly better pickaxe. Game was nice enough to give me this tool rod as a quest reward, and uh, it actually adds a lot of damage. Maybe instead of using it on my pickaxe, use it on like a weapon. Uh, let's go for the long sword because you can fly with it. Not the world's best weapon, but it uh, gets the job done, I guess. So anyways, I've got a pickaxe, uh, axe, and a long sword. And that even completes another one. Well, I guess I said I wasn't going to do these, but uh, I did them all. Cool, it's just ranged weapons. How many... 47 ammo. Alright, well, good enough for me. Um... What is the glass? The glass shards can be used to give your sword a bleeding effect. I well, don't mind if I do. Seems incredibly rude to put glass on your sword, but you know. Takes a modifier, doesn't increase damage, but it gives it bleed. Sure, why not? Alright. Anyways, uh, now that I have flint, or now that I have iron, we can make flint and steel. I suppose was my original goal. I think it's just like this. Yep, and then we can go light some bedrock on fire. Um, we have magnetic on our gear. I wonder, does that apply to, like, does that just turn our gear into magnets? If so, that's kind of nifty. This shaft also conveniently leads, maybe not quite all the way down to bedrock, but it gets us pretty close. All right, what are we at? Y11. That's pretty close. Let this get. Uh, that's going to leave me great into lava. Let's get down to bedrock so that I can... Fossil? What are fossils? Who knows? Tinker with them later, I guess. Um, but I gotta get down to bedrock so I can light it on fire. There's apparently... books. I think sometimes drop from... What's that? The ice stone that I was mining? I don't know. I, have, I've, I found two books while mining down here. Archaeology is weird. Apparently people bury books in the ground. With a nice little patch of bedrock exposed, we just light it on fire to get our grains of infinity. From one foot and steel, I typically find you get about 30 pieces of grains of infinity. So let's just... Uh, that's enough. I need to leave myself some room to stand. Let's see how many we get off this, because I think it's like 64 durability. Or not advanced tool tips. Is it 64? Yeah, and you have about a 50% chance to get grains from each fire. Last few fires, so we got 25 or 26. 
uh, unlucky. But oh well, good enough. So with that, we can now make conduit binder. Ooh, it's nighttime. Oh, I don't want my home, my brand new home being blown up by creepers. Then with conduit binder, uh, let's complete the quest first. Ooh, cool, we got a thirty-two more for free. We can craft that into kraut and then melt that into seared brick. So I probably don't need conduits for a little while. Let's just turn it all into kraut. Uh, get a couple more furnaces here. All right. That's a reasonable for furnaces. Start. Okay. Right off the bat, we can't quite make a smeltery yet. We have to make the melter, which is like the one block smeltery. So let's make all of its components. Probably have to melt the glass. There's also upgraded furnaces in the pack, so I should probably be smelting the good furnace, not the bad one, but whatever. I don't think I, at least. Oh, well, there's like seven different furnace mods. I don't know how they all work. Some of them get more fuel efficient, some don't. Uh, this one looks like it's it's definitely faster. Is it more fuel efficient? Tough to say. I think the answer is yes. But anyways, um, is how we make it? Yeah. I need a tank, a melter, a cave. So a tank, a table, a faucet, melter. How do I make this? Oh, I'm going to need a second day. There we go. Is that everything? And a bucket of lava. Um, regular bucket recipe? Cool. All right. Uh, something burned to death. The cave spider. Rest in peace. Um, looks like there's surface lava nearby. Nope, just kidding. There is it. To the mine. And there's a lava lake we heard before. Nifty little thing. The sewer tank retains its liquid while broken. I mean, it literally says so. So, uh, it itself can be a little four bucket tank. All right. I think this pickaxe is also yeah, it's high enough level to mine the gold. Unfortunately, the gold's not quite dense enough to form just one huge vein, so we don't. It doesn't quite vein mine as nice as the iron did. But we do need a higher tier to get some of this other stuff. Uninspected. Oh, this is a rock hounding mod. I played with this mod a long time ago in one of the. Like, all the mods to expert or something like that. Now, maybe the original all the mods expert? I don't know. It's, it's been a long time. Uh, but, anyways, that's. It's about all the gold and iron left in this vein by the looks of it. We'll come back for the nickel. Even dense nickel. Fancy. Once I have a tier 3 pickaxe. Once we make our melter, we uh, unlock a thing to make iron pickaxe heads. So yeah, I don't think we were supposed to be able to make iron pickaxe heads in the, uh, on the table, but whatever. It's done, it's done. We can use that to repair. So this quest is interesting. It rewards us with one of these tokens. We choose which one, and then we can go to the shop and convert that into, you know, basically use it to buy something. So we can buy, or we can choose to get these things. I'm going to pass on that set. A bunch of resources. That's really nice. A um, bunch of nice drops in here. It's nice to get like ender pearls right off the bat, because I mean, ender pearls kind of suck early on. I'm thinking this is what I'll take just for the ender pearls. But let's see what else there is. Uh, a bunch of item conduits. I love item conduits. Can we view recipes from here? No. Item conduit. But these are basically just made with under pearls, right? We make this in a smeltery. We can not. But we can do it in a high oven. Uh, I don't know. I love item count. Sorry, we're gonna I'll decide later. I'll decide when I need one of those things. Uh moving on then. The next class here is apparently for deep bob learning. Huh. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I love deep mob learning. Build mobs, yada, yada, yada. Sounds good to me. Um, When do we open this quest line? No, we've already opened this quest line. All right, I'm going to take a look at what our options are going for. 
I think this deep learner tool, this isn't actually doing anything with deep mob learning. We can just get started by leveling our data models early, but I don't plan on killing any zombies anytime soon, unless strictly necessary. So we're going to skip that. We'll get back to it later. Instead, let's go on to chapter two, which is the production of basic alloys. Right now, our pickaxe is at mining level two. In order to get to mining level three, we need at least bronze according to this here so mine level three is bronze or invar both of those are alloys which means we have to do alloy things so um i guess we can is it an and or is are these or quests so that's an or quest but this is and so we'll need to do both astral sorcery and uh embers related stuff let's do the ember stuff first just to get it out of the way because i like astral sorcery more so We'll uh, do the grind, well, maybe not grinding, the less fun stuff first, leave the fun stuff for after. Um, we have to make the miniaturization field projector, so compact machines, let's see what in here is weird to make. We have to start making plates already. I can make plates one ingot per by using the melter, or we can do it two ingots per with a hammer, I believe. So, yeah, we can use a hammer to do two ingots to a plate, or... I believe we can directly cast the plates into a plate cast for one ingot per. So I'll probably, we'll set up our um, melter here to be a plate maker. Second, or uh, one thing about this melter though is that it does not ore double. So if I have iron ore and I throw that into the melter, find its tab up here, we get one ingot of iron out. So unfortunately, this is not a oh, what's the plate? We get a free gold ingot. This is not an easy ore doubling. But it I mean I guess effectively it is if we're making plates, right? This pack seems to also have caves that have uh, some pretty good loot inside. Unbreaking 15 action, you say. Sign me up, I guess. Um yeah, they're protected by spawners. So like you see that spawner there, that one there, I'm pretty sure there's just uh loot under them what does more damage nine eight this will use our unbreaking 36 axe and hopefully not die doing this i'm so dead aren't i maybe i should make some armor first what that wasn't that was just a bunch of bobs and bugs all right i'm out of here it's not what I wanted. What's under this one? Not the same thing. Dang it. I want these chests with like diamond gear in it. I want a diamond pickaxe. Alright, combat time. I'm so good at this game. I don't have food left either, so I'm just killing these guys for their rotten flesh. But anyways, um, I guess that's mission successful. I needed this lapis. These veins are... Zombie, I don't want to die. Um, but yeah, these veins are, they're not the largest, but there's a lot of them, so it ends up working out pretty well. And we're going to out of way. One problem I run into is my inventory gets super full super quickly because there's just so much stuff. Like, look, there's silver here, lead. But yeah, all in all, it looks like getting resources in this pack is going to be quite easy. And I like that. I'd rather spend my time doing stuff with resources than just mining them. Fortunately, I can't even mine all the time. I wonder if we can raise the mining level of our pickaxe by putting a diamond on it. Uh, no, we cannot. Takes a modifier. Gives it some more mining speed and more durability, but does not raise it to mining level. Oh shit. Um, I just want to see, is there anything else? What's that mining level three? Uh, what am I? Mining level colon. Did that do it? I still no. Let's use the modifiers on our pickaxe now just to at least put fortune on it. So I think it's fortune. It doesn't use additional modifiers as you go above one. So we'll as much lapis as we can. We'll put fortune on it. And then for hardened, I need re or for reinforcement, I need reinforcement modifier. This is obsidian. Don't think I can mine this yet unless I have a 
These obsidians probably have the same mining level. Uh, I checked an obsidian is mining level 3. So unless I can somehow get... Or mining level 4. Unless I can somehow get mining level 4. I guess it's a drop. But that's in the nether. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can easily get obsidian. So we probably can't get the reinforcement yet, which is a bit of a shame. This guy looks nice and mean. Flash I'm Ow! That hurts. He has a name, so I assume he's gonna drop good loot when I kill him. Should have brought my bow with me. I'm not that smart. Uh, you know, strategy time. He can't hit me. Saka. Maybe I think he's guaranteed to drop the armor he's wearing or something. But uh, I don't really need a golden chest piece. I mean, I'll take it, I guess. What I really want is a. I didn't pickaxe, but I don't think you gave me one. You gave me a golden pickaxe. Um, I mean, it's unbreakable. It has like 30,000 things on it. Better than my leather. Yes, it is. I mean, not a lot of stats. All right, I'll take it. Uh, I think those are like the super boss mobs added from work is my guess. But that could be wrong. Anyways, I'll take the iron. The problem with mining the iron like this is that it destroys my uh, pickaxe's durability. Oh well. Like two stacks. Stack and a half of iron. Here's another name mob, but I built a box around him before he shot me. I'm really good at this game. I don't know what piece we'll get off that. Hopefully not another chest. This one's even like glowing and stuff. And we got a bow by the looks of things. Nope, that's just a normal, but oh, another chest. Um, swim speed. <laughs> that's less good. Duck up on another room here, and there's mana steel. Is that, that's not a half bad capacity. Okay, I'm going to take all the good stuff in here. But um, I wonder if, I think I saw mana steel on the tier list for, uh, I don't know. But yeah, can we make a pickaxe out of this? Probably needs living wood. But it is a level 4 pickaxe if I can make living wood. Make a pure daisy? No, I cannot. Dang it. No shortcuts for me. I just really want this shortcut. There was dark steel in this chest. This has to be able to make a cheater pickaxe, right? It probably uses a different rod material as well. No, we can do it with sticks. For a tier 4 pickaxe. Aha, we've done it. Victory. Screw your gated progression. I will loot my way out of it. Alright, so uh, we can't really repair this. I have like one ingot of repair material from our free ingot here. So I'm not going to use it to mine everything. But we can use it to like mine obsidian, for instance. And um... Make our make our regular pickaxe unbreakable, and we can mine diamonds with it and stuff. So, uh, it's probably not that big a progression break, all things considered. But should also update out my inventory. But we can do this. Aha! Excellent. The higher tier pickaxe also means we can mine this emerald that we run into here. Ooh. About an enderman. I think this uh, ender dust is. Yeah, we can turn it into ender pearls. So I guess I don't have to buy the ender pearls with a quest reward anymore. We can buy something else. Nifty. And look, another one of these named cork mod chase me down here. Give me your fancy loot. Don't be just a chest piece. They might all drop chest pieces. That might be the balancing thing that you can only. No, they got legs. Uh, oh, beats whatever I've been wearing. Ah, oh, here's a spawner that probably has a chest under it. Don't poison me, don't poison me, don't poison me. You. And what's a chest? Literally nothing of value. Another one? Usually what you're looking for is the block above the spawner is easier to spot. There's just like an out of place single block. And... Sharp diamond sword. Well, better luck next time. Another one. Very good. I don't know uh, 
how or why this video ended up turning into an exploration slash treasure hunting, but that's what it is apparently. Um, nope, nothing useful. Here's another one. This one has epic boots in it, plus swim speed. Sure, why not? Better than what I'm wearing, probably. My inventory is also a little bit full. Is it actually better? Magic protection, soulbound, five. This one's unbreakable, though, right? Almost. All right, we'll upgrade. Another one. This is probably the last thing we're going to do today. I don't know, again, why we ended up looking for all this loot, but hey, I mean, an enchanting table is useful. I don't need this many broken spawners. Oops. Give me that. All right, so anyways, yeah, that'll be it for today. But the first half of the day, we did productive things. And then I kind of just got distracted running around in this cave system. But um, we'll be back next time. Continue with our multi-block madness. I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.